His tail was waggling, but he was super skinny. I've seen a lot of cases, but this was one of the worst cases I've seen. Uh, you could see that he was fed only enough to survive. His ears was bleeding. It was horrible. I just couldn't leave him. And I promised him right away, it doesn't matter what happened, doesn't matter how much it costs, we're going to get him, we need to find a way. that I want to adopt Destino because I'd fallen in love with him, not because I was going to rescue him or anything. Right away, the owner said no, which was devastating. I was so heartbroken. I didn't know what to say because if the owner says no, we can't take him. We need to leave him up there. So I, I broke down even more. They felt sorry for me, so they said, okay, I can, I can see how much you love this dog. You, you can take him. Yeah, you can just imagine how much I was crying then, you know, just happy tears. I just remember that I, I hugged him and I was like, you're going to be safe now. You're finally going to get the, the home that you always wanted, the home that you always dreamed of. You're never going to suffer here anymore. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I think as soon as we got to Saul, he felt like he was really safe. But they see he could suffer from trauma. You could see that he had been abused. When you were raising his hand, he would shake up. But he was still so loving. I would wake up in the morning and he would just come into the room, waggling his tail. Um, it was amazing. He's more calm, he's very good with people. You can see he's so happy now. It's, it's really a different dog. Unfortunately, no one came forward and wanted to adopt him. He has now passed his blood test. He's ready to travel, he's ready to, to go to his safe forever home, you know, to finally feel as safe, get all the love that he always deserved. But I think that as soon as like if someone met him, they will fall in love with him. He will be your best friend.